In this video, we will show you how to replace your front grill assembly on the Chevy Trailblazer. This will be located right along the front of your vehicle. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. To remove the grill assembly, it's going to be very simple overall. Have the hood in the upright position. Once you've done that, we'll be making our way along the back side of the grill. What we need to do is gently separate our locking clips. You'll find you have several of them making their way across the front of this. Carefully make your way in this area and gently pry. Once you have one broken free, we'll continue down the line. Now that we have the top broken free all the way across, you'll find that you have three more locking clips. There's one towards the center here, and then there's one in each lower corner. Now you could carefully make your way down inside this way with a small prying device and gently pry it out of place, or just carefully take hold of it by hand and we'll give it a light tug straight forward. That center one's free. There we go. Now with the grill assembly out of the vehicle, let's continue on to cleaning and inspecting the mounting holes where the new grill will sit. The reason why I say cleaning is because typically there may be a clip or two still stuck in the area. If that's the case, you could use some pliers or once again your small prying device and just remove it. Make our way over here, there's nothing in the center and nothing over there. At this point, we're clear to install our brand new grill. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new front grill assembly. Before we do so, we'll just have a quick look along the back. You'll find that you have your mounting clips already attached to the grill itself. The reason why I'm pointing these out is because we do have to make sure each one of these is aligned with the corresponding mounting holes on the vehicle. Once you have it properly aligned, continue on by gently pressing it into the proper position. We'll just double check to make sure it's completely secured all the way around. Obviously, our original grill did not have the emblem on it, but to remove the original emblem from the vehicle, you could just use a heat gun, gently heat it up just enough that you could loosen up the adhesive along the backside, and then use a plastic trim tool to pry it out of place. Be careful not to break it because typically people do like to reuse these. Now we can get ready to install the emblem. Looking along the backside here, you can tell you have two locating tabs. On one of those locating tabs, it has a small area that protrudes out a little bit. Looking at the grill itself, you can tell you have a hole with a small area that also protrudes out. We wanna make sure we have that properly aligned and we'll stick this in place. There we are, before I press it in too far, I'm just gonna make sure everything's aligned properly. And now we'll press this on. It's a good idea to apply light pressure here. We don't want to break our grill, but we do want to make sure all of the adhesive is touching up against the grill to hold this in place. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.